Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're trying to find the rate at which the water level drops inside this funnel, given that the volume of water in the funnel decreases at a rate of 0.1 cubic feet per second. The funnel is 9 feet tall and at the top has a radius of 3 feet. The water level currently is down here when H is 4 feet. In other words, the funnel is filled up to a height of 4 feet above the very bottom. So how do we find the rate at which the water level changes if we're given the change in the volume per unit time? We need to find an equation that relates the volume to the height of the water level and then we'll take the derivative to find the rates. So let's come up with the equation for the volume of a cone or as a funnel like this. So we can say that the volume is equal to one-third the area of the base now, of course, we just want to know the volume of the water here. So it would be the area of the base would be pi r squared. We'll use small r because it's the radius where the water level is at. And we have to multiply that times the height. So it's one third pi r squared h. But we don't want r there because we want to relate the volume to h. So we have to eliminate r. We have to find some relationship between r and h. But here we're given that the radius at the top is 3 feet when the height is 9 feet. So that shows us the ratio of R to H. Let's call this big H. So we can see here that the ratio of R to H is 3 feet to 9 feet, which is 1 over 3. So we can say here that R is equal to 1 third H which means that the small r, the radius of where the water level is at, is going to be equal to one-third the height of the water level. And now we have a relationship between r and h that allows us to eliminate r inside the equation. So we'll make that substitution. So when we make the substitution, the volume of the water is equal to one-third pi times one-third h quantity squared times h. Simplifying that equation, this becomes 1 over 9 times 1 third or 1 over 27 pi h cubed. So now we can take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time so that we have a dv dt and a dh dt in the same equation. So we'll take the d dt of the right side of the equation and set that equal to the d dt of the left side of the equation. When we do so, we get dv dt is equal to, well, when we differentiate h cubed, we get 3h squared, so that gives us 3 over 27 pi h squared times dh dt. And of course, 3 over 27 becomes 1 over 9. So now we have a relationship between dv dt and dh dt. And since we're looking for dh dt, and we're given dv dt, and we're given h, we can then solve for dh dt. So that means that dh dt is equal to dv dt times. So now notice we have a pi h squared that will go to denominator. And we have a 9 in the denominator. When we bring it up here, that goes in the numerator. So we have 9 divided by pi h squared. Now all we have to do is plug in the values. This equals a minus 0.1 cubic feet per second. We have to multiply that times 9 divided by pi and divided by the height squared, which is 4 feet quantity squared. Notice that the feet squared will cancel out the feet cubed and leave us with feet per second. And now with a calculator, we can figure out what that is equal to. 0.1 times 9 divided by pi and divided by 4 squared which is 16 and that gives us dh dt as a negative 0 0.0179 feet per second. So that is the rate at which the water level is dropping if the funnel loses 0.1 cubic feet per second at the bottom. And that's how it's done.